Story time with Fergie and friends. Hi, girls and boys. How great to see you today. So we today we're in a thunderstorm. And we're waiting for a big thunderstorm. And we're waiting. We're waiting because you know what's happening. Today? It's dinosaur day. Look, I have my dinosaur friends here. You know all their names. Look, I wonder what that's called. Does anyone out there know what that's called? Hmm. You can. Something Rex. Something, something, something. You know, boys and girls out there, their names. Anyway, very exciting. So, are you ready? Petra Hampshire, yay! And we are really excited because we might run into Max. So, thank you for your lovely, lovely book, and I hope you enjoy your reading of Max, the most incredible T-Rex ever, and who made best friends in a thunderstorm. Thank you so much, Petra, for joining Fergie and Friends, and we send lots of love to you all. Do dinosaurs like thunderstorms? It's very rainy out there. Can you hear the rain? It's lucky I've got my hat on. Yes, we don't know when the dinosaurs are going to come. Mm. Thank you, Petra. Here we go. I'm sure... I'm sure you know all about T-Rexes. I'm, I'm sure you do. I, I, I know you know all the names of the T-Rexes. Um, they are the scariest rah, dinosaurs and people always think they're baddies. Are you a baddie? I'm not a baddie. I'm a goodie. I'm a really goodie. Okay, but this T-Rex was a goodie. He was a goodie. He's such a goodie. His name was Max and he liked music. He used to hum songs under his breath when he was feeling happy. He also liked being the biggest and strongest dinosaur in the whole forest and thought no one was as good as him. I don't need friends, nope, because no one is as good as me. I'm the biggest and I have the loudest rock. He used to say, Max never bothered trying to make friends with the other dinosaurs. He thought all of them had something about them that made them silly. They're not silly. Hmm. Though they could also be quite interesting sometimes. Uh, now, uh, tr Tricetops <clears throat> had really cool horns and a frill on her head, but she couldn't roar. Hmm. Stegosaurus had sharp pointy spikes on her tail, but had a very small head. Hmm. And Petrodactyl could easily reach the tops of the trees, but he couldn't run at all. Girls and boys, I'm sure you can say them better than I can, so, you know, maybe later on when you, you read this book, you can translate them for me. But anyway, but T-Rex Max had it all. Yes, he was tall and he could run really fast and he had lots of sharp teeth the size of bananas. Whoa, that's really sharp. There was nothing silly about him. He didn't need to make friends with those silly little dinosaurs. Now, I think we have one here. I wonder which one's that. Can anyone tell me who, which one that is? Hmm. Or can anyone tell me which one that is? Oh. And I think you know, um, and where's the three horned one? There he is. What about this little chap? He's kind of cute. Hmm. Anyway, okay, onwards, onwards and upwards. That caterpillar's looking rather worried, I think, don't you? Yes, I think so. I would, I must admit I would be too. Anyway, there you are, there's Max, look at him. <laughs> One day he was sitting under his favorite tree. Oh, help, do you think Max is here today? <gasps> Max, ah, Max, Max. Oh my goodness. He was sitting under his favorite tree when he heard the first clap of thunder. In the distance, there was a gust of cold wind as the dark clouds crossed the sky, getting closer and closer by the minute. Max loves thunderstorms. He really liked the sound of the rain. <laughs> Can you hear the rain? We are sitting in the rain right now. Hmm. Shh, let's hear. But not everyone was as brave as Max. All the other dinosaurs were much smaller than T-Rex Max. And when they heard the low rumble of thunder coming, they quickly retired to their favourite sheltered places. Hmm, some of them went to the centre of the forest where the leaves of the bushes and trees were so thick, they wove a roof above them. Hmm. And only a few drops of rain managed to fall through. Steph, the Stegosaurus, Terry, the Pterodactyl, and Una, the Tricetops, liked to hide in a cave at the foot of a mountain. <gasps> And nobody knew about this cave but them. It was well concealed behind an enormous prickly raspberry bush, which looked, it looked like it was growing right into the slope of the mountain, but actually there was a hidden path on its side. They only knew about this cave because Terry accidentally discovered it when picking raspberries. 
dinosaurs liking raspberries? Hmm. Ever since that day, whenever there was a thunderstorm, the three of them always went to the cave. Thunderstorms weren't the only thing the other dinosaurs were afraid of, though. They were also frightened of T-Rex Max. They didn't know he was a goodie. He never made friends with anyone. He kept making a scary, deep growl. They didn't know Max was only humming happy songs. He, he thought he, he, he was happy, happy, humming happy songs and he, they thought he was growling. As the thunderstorm approached, everyone was in a hurry to get to the shelter in time, creating quite a bit of chaos. Some of them noticed that Max hadn't moved to come with them and said to each other, look how brave Max is. He isn't going to hide from the thunderstorm under the tree. As Max was watching the animals scutter about, a little leaf blew onto his nose and got stuck between his nostrils. Oh, that was really ticklish. He tried to scratch himself, but he couldn't. You see, T-Rexes might be strong and tall and have huge legs. Hmm. However, but he only has very short arms. Right. He doesn't need them, usually, you see, but today he did need them. Oh no, what was he going to do? He wanted to scratch his nose and get rid of the itch and the leaf, but he simply couldn't reach. Oh, bother, he sighed, annoyed that he couldn't do such a simple thing as scratch his nose. Hmm. He kept moving his arms up to his nose, but it was no good. His arms were too short. Oh no, what's he going to do? But then he had an idea. I know what, we'll to, what to do. I'll ask Stephanie the Stegosaurus. She, had a, she has a pointy tail and she'll be able to scratch my nose for me. What a clever idea, Max. There he is. He's got his leaf on his nose, poor Max. Hmm. Okay. Wow, it's very exciting. Max looked around to see if he could see Stephanie amongst the stream of animals fleeing into the jungle. <gasps> there she is, Max cried when he spotted Steph the Stegosaurus. He stood up and started to run towards her, calling her name. Steph, Steph, wait for me, please. Wait, wait, wait. He roared. <gasps> As he ran, he started humming his favourite song, but he was really happy that he'd found a solution to his problem. But of course, he, he, his favourite song sounded like a roar. Oh no. Steph the Stegosaurus heard the loud roar and her name being called, turned her head and saw T-Rex Max running after her, growling. Huh. Poor Steph got so scared she shrieked and started running faster, faster, faster than anyone else to get away from Max. Oh no. Max noticed it and stopped because he didn't feel like a long run. Max didn't know what he'd done to scare off poor Stephanie. Oh no, poor Max. Poor Max. He, he didn't mean that his singing and humming wasn't, wasn't very, very good. Oh dear. Oh look, here she is. Look, there she is. There it, there's Steph. You can see Steph. I think that's her. Look, I think that looks like her, don't you, girls and boys? Oh, butterflies, what am I going to do now? He looked around when he saw, you know, the triceratops. Wrong, that's not Stephanie. That is Yuna, the triceratops. Oh, maybe, aha, uh -huh. no, 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 it's Yuna, Yuna, Yuna. Here she is, here's Yuna. Yuna is the triceratops. Guess why, girls and boys? Because she has three horns, which is three. Try, try, right? Yeah, okay, there's Yuna, the triceratops, okay. Unless she's in the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know what to do. I'll ask Yuna to scratch me with her horns. Excuse me, Yuna, hello. Excuse me, uh, hello, hello. He roared really loudly to make sure Yuna the Triceratops could hear him. Wah! He started to run faster to get to her. As his nose was getting really itchy now, poor Yuna got the fright of her life when she saw T-Rex Max running towards her and roaring at her so loudly. Ah! Help, help! T-Rex, T-Rex Max is after me, is after me, she yelled and ran as fast as she could deep into the forest. Oh no, oh no. T-Rex Max stopped and looked around. All the dinosaurs were now running in all possible directions, but all away from him. Oh no, why is everyone running away from me? What is going on? I only wanted to ask a favor, he thought, feeling uh, no question about it. He was a little confused. Fergie and friends, with Fergie and friends.